Hey guys, welcome to Freitech channel. This is just a quick video with basically two sections. One is if speed of airdrop on your new iOS 18 device is super slow to MacBook, how to fix it. And second of all is public announcement essentially that I'm working on two iOS 18 videos. Let's just quickly jump into first and then please watch the second part as well. So after updating my iPhone 12 to iOS 18, I've discovered that air dropping files from iPhone to my MacBook Pro running macOS Monterey was super slow. I even tried to screen record it to show you, but it was so slow that I just abandoned the project. And so I had to reserve to connect uh, to my computer with USB cable and transfer the files that way. However, when I've done it, I've discovered something that computer prompted to install some kind of a piece of software, not without uh, a few hiccups as well, but whatever. I'm not really sure what it is because Apple doesn't really tell you it just says installing sort of software whatever after it installs it the airdrop started working perfectly so i guess the solution is connect your phone if you're having this problem to the macbook with an actual cable and see if it prompts you to update some kind of a piece of software maybe it's some kind of a handshake protocol inside of airdrop to connect ios 18 and like macbooks maybe it's like some kind of a list of newer devices that's been updated i don't know what it is really but if you're having the problem connect the phone to the computer with a cable and do it like that. By the way, AirDrop for me anyway, between these two devices, iPhone 12 and MacBook Pro 2015, running macOS Monterey, it's not particularly fast at all. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is slower than even USB 2 from the year 2000, running at uh, 480 megabits per second. And even though Lightning was that speed, sort of by design because Apple engineers fucked up royally and I have a video about it. I'll link it in the description if you're curious about that. Right now, let's not forget, I just wanna remind everybody that Apple right now uses USB-C in all of their phones, yet they're still running at USB 2 speeds from the year literal 2000. So 24 years old speed technology, even though USB-C is capable of running at five gigabits per second, or at 10 gigabits per second, or even at 40 gigabits per second. Yet Apple is limiting those speeds only to pro phones, uh, as if regular people do not need to make backups or transfer their files, or they just don't do it locally, which is bullshit. I just want to remind everybody what kind of pieces of shit Apple are essentially for doing that. They've changed the port to USB-C that everybody wanted, and then they limiting that USB-C port to shitty, shitty, shitty speeds. Anyway, now a quick public announcement. I'm working right now on two iOS 18 videos. One of them is basically my first impressions. Yesterday I've recorded one hour and 20 minutes of first impressions. This is what happens when you don't have a script and you're actually jumping into your first impressions. A lot of footage on my hands now and I'm gonna be trying to trim it down to like at least like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that. And if you wanna watch my first impressions, almost basically unedited, when I tried new redesigned photos app and how much it broke me essentially if you want to see the reaction of a person on autistic spectrum and what it does like such a drastic redesign and such a fucking stupid redesign to people like me to the brains like i have subscribe to frytech channel and i will also put the link in the description once I'm finished, once I've uploaded the video, because that was painful experience, I'll tell you that much. And second video that I'm gonna be working on is basically something like everything wrong with iOS 18. I wanted to say like in 18 minutes or less, but probably not because I don't think I will be able to constrain myself with just 18 minutes, just the nature of uh, my videos, they're usually quite longer because I'm packing sort of more things into them and I much rather sort of make one bigger video and add chapters uh, rather than sort of split them into whatever, like three, four minutes video. Maybe it's not correct, uh, let me know your thoughts about it. And by the way, let me know if you would want me to test anything in iOS 18, because like I'm saying, first impressions will be first impressions, but there's also gonna be probably a section of just me using it now, sort of a day later than a couple of days later because I'm finding more and more quirks. Let's just put it that way, okay? Um, brain that fucking stupid shit. This is what I wanted to say, but let's just call them quirks. Yeah, if you want me to test something, again, I'm using iPhone 12. It's older device. It was running perfectly on iOS 17. And so far, what I've seen, it's been running perfectly on iOS 18. From that perspective, like perspective of speed, things like that, uh, I don't think it's gonna be a problem for anybody with a bit older devices because iPhones have been plenty powerful for like at least five years. 
um, if not more. But yeah, if you have any specific questions about iOS 18 before maybe you've yourself upgraded, let me know in the comment section. Okay, and that's it. This is just a quick video, a quick update, quick announcement. And uh, yeah, please subscribe to Fretic channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.